What's going on guys? Hopefully you just saw the first part of this video, me just trying out some front squats today on my lower body, a second lower body deload workout for the week. Uh, so today is Friday and the next week I'll start out my sixth month of, of Windler 531. So that'll be exciting. Um, I wanted to get like the second part of this video be my, my growth, my post-workout grocery shopping or whatever. I always tell people not to go, most people not to go grocery shopping like right after a workout or when you're hungry. That's kind of a, a common thing people hear just because everything looks good and stuff like that. And I thought it was funny because I kind of like don't take my own advice sometimes. Um, but the, story, the moral of the story is I went to the store for milk, potatoes, and yogurt and came back with this. So um, a part of it was just, yeah, like I said, come, uh, going off of a workout, right after a workout, and then going to the store probably isn't the best idea. Um, but part of it was just there were some good deals and I saw some stuff I liked anyway. So the last grocery video got a whole bunch of videos and apparently people like to see this stuff. So again, I always tell people the sources of food you, you have usually don't make a large difference. It's more of the overall macronutrients, micronutrient content. The actual food should be pretty much left up to your personal preference. So well, let's get into the stuff that I got guys pretty quickly. Again, it isn't, it isn't really a grocery shopping uh, video or even visit for me unless I get some cereal. So uh, I, I want to try out this Honey Nut Cheerio Medley Crunch and also this Cinnamon Roll Crunch. I mean, this has got to be good. This looks just terrific. So uh, again, macros on these are pretty solid. Uh, we get cereal, cereal pretty much with the um, the nutrient content. <laughs> um, then I got a ton of yogurt. I'm not even going to show all these, but just some Kroger. These are a little bit cheaper than like the the uh, Chobani's or the, the other single serving. So it's a little bit more expensive when you do get the the single serving. So I go for the off brand definitely. And also I got some Carb Masters. These actually aren't Greek yogurt. So I got a little bit of both. Those are really, really cheap though. If you have like a Dillon's or a Kroger in your area, I would definitely check those out. Um, then every time I go to Dillon's, uh, since I, if you watch my, my channels in the past, there was a video where I got this 99% fat-free turkey breast for like buy one get one free back during contest prep. So I always, always, always go to like there's meat section to see if they have stuff on sale. Uh, so I got some red meat. I don't eat a lot of red meat mainly because of the price. Uh, so this was on sale. This was 207 a pound for 93.7 uh, ground beef. That's typically like a chicken breast price. So definitely wanted to try that out. They also have these frozen uh, Pollock fillets. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that, but it's just a fish, uh, solid macros. I need to eat a little bit more fish and I, I kind of like fish. It's not, I don't like to eat like a ton of tilapia or stuff like that. And I get, it gets old quickly, but this is on sale too for a buck 50. Uh, there's not a lot in here, but again, solid macros. Just a, a gram of fat, 22 grams of protein. Um, and then these in here, there's a, um, I got four pounds, I believe. Actually, about five pounds. Each of these are about two and a half. So I got five pounds of boneless, skinless uh, chicken tenderloins, and I got about two and a half pounds of chicken thighs. As far as like the, the fat content, there is some difference on like tenderloins, breasts, and thighs. Um, so going like from the lowest amount of fat to the highest, tenderloins typically have about 0.5 grams of fat per four ounces. So really, really lean. The chicken breast actually does have some fat in it. People don't really think about that, but it's about 2.5 grams of fat per four ounces. So if you're eating about six or eight ounces, there is a decent amount of fat. You're definitely nothing to go crazy about. Uh, that is like what pe both, both people get is just the chicken breast. It does have about 2.5 grams of fat. And then the thighs kind of vary. The thighs are a little bit typically lower in protein as well. Usually about 18 is what I've seen, while the chicken breast and the, and the tenderloins around like 22 to 23. And then the thighs have about seven to nine grams of fat, so a little bit higher in fat, more like a, uh, a, a ground beef, like 93.7 kind of uh, protocol. But again, the higher fat usually comes with a little bit better taste. So I, I got some of those in my macros are definitely increasing, right? And then I do actually eat vegetables, guys. So I just got a couple of bags of frozen broccoli and frozen green beans. So those are just a staple in my diet. It's really easy to throw on the side. Um, so I got 10 pounds of potatoes, white potatoes. If you're on a budget, I know I say I'm always on a budget, but this is uh, uh, like $45 worth of food, I think, and I just did this like a couple of days ago, but I am on a budget. Um, and potatoes are great, potatoes and rice, you can't really go wrong there. So you can get 10 pounds of potatoes wrong fun for three bucks. So definitely good investment there. 
Uh, more vegetables, like I said, I actually did get what I was going for, so uh, half a gallon of skim milk. I already have some almond milk in there. And then lastly, I have some more veggies. And lastly, I just got some off-brand diet root beer soda. Uh, this is off-brand, so sometimes I don't buy off-brand soda because I've, I've done it in the past. It just has like a funky taste. It just doesn't taste the same. It's really weird. Um, but I try to go as much as I can a caffeine, a caffeine-free diet soda just because I do uh, like to have caffeine pre-workout. And again, the more you have caffeine, the kind of less of an effect you're going to get for it. So I, I do drink coffee probably four or five days out of the week as well. So that's always a, an, an uh, additional caffeine on top of my pre-workout. So again, the more, the less you can consume caffeine, the greater effect potentially it could have pre-workout. So I don't just go crazy with caffeine throughout the day. Um, so that's the video guys. Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, this, weekend was, this week was crazy with me for school. I had like four exams and projects due. Uh, this weekend I can really chill. I'm gonna try to get that entire deload series finished this weekend and I'll probably just um, after part one if it gets a good response I usually like to uh, let my videos get about 100 views right now just to make you guys kind of wait a little bit and also disperse my information out a little bit more and kind of throw stuff at you uh, but it should be about a four part series right now uh, relatively quick videos but I think if you have any questions about deloads I think it'll be really helpful for you so check out that guys I also have a video I'll post up soon talking about uh, training to failure and how that can be beneficial or hurt your gain. So hope you guys like all this new content. Like always, if you're not aware, I have a Facebook page. Go ahead and like that, Ferris for Fitness on Facebook. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, guys. Like the video if you already have it. And until then, guys, take care.